Hey, curious kids. Kevin J. DeBrun here. I am a former NASA rocket scientist, and today I am going to answer my most asked question. How many Earths could fit inside of the sun? <laughs> Let's have you guess first. What do you think? How many? You have your guess? Write it down so you can go back and check later to see how close or how far you are. Now our solar system is huge, and I mean huge. It's full of so many cool and unique things. Things that are all different shapes and sizes. But how different are these sizes really? Well, if we shrank down the sun to the size of this inflatable ball, how big would each planet be? Actually, let's not use the word big. How small, tiny, little would the planets be? This small. This is a four billion to one scale, which means that out in space, these are actually four billion times larger. Let's zoom in and check out how the planets compare to each other at this scale. Like look at Mercury, smallest planet we have. Look how tiny that dot is. And then moving up to Venus and Earth, about the same size there, still very small, like the size of a BB. Mars is super tiny as well. Then moving to our biggest planet, Jupiter. But wait, hold up. You're telling me that Jupiter has rings just like Saturn? Yeah and Uranus and Neptune. Saturns are just the biggest. We move on to Saturn, it's a little bit smaller than Jupiter, and then Uranus and Neptune, about the same size, but this is how they compare to each other if they were four billion times smaller. Wow, like I said, our solar system is huge. So now that we have an idea of how big things are and what the planets look like compared to each other, do you want to change your guess? Here's your chance. All right, now let's focus in on the two we really want to compare, the Sun and the Earth. Now these are not to the right scale, so let's ditch them and compare something we probably all know. Hey now, you're an all -star. Get your game on. A basketball. If the Sun were the size of a basketball, Earth would be this tiny two millimeter bead right there. Aww. All right, do you remember your guesses from earlier? Did you write them down? Well, here's one last time to update them if you want, because now it's time to figure out just how many Earths could fit inside of the sun. And to do that, we're gonna use math. Math, 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 math. But first, we need to know how big each is. How large are the sun and the earth on the inside? This is called volume, and we measure it in cubic kilometers. The volume of the sun is 1.4 times 10 to the 18th kilometers cubed. Kevin, what exactly does that mean? Well, that would be 1.4 million trillion kilometers cubed. That's a lot. So now the earth is a little bit smaller, right? The earth's volume is 1.08 times 10 to the 12th kilometers cubed or 1.08 trillion kilometers cubed. To get the answer we're looking for, we need to find our Sun-Earth ratio. We will take the volume of the Sun divided by the volume of the Earth. And the answer is 1.3 million. 1.3 million Earths could fit inside of the Sun. How close was your guess? Was it close? Was it far? Or were you exactly right on? <laughs> Not even close. But So that's the main answer, but I have some bonus information for you too. Jupiter is our largest planet. Well, Kevin, how many Earths could fit inside of Jupiter? I'm glad you asked. The answer is 1,321 Earths could fit inside of Jupiter. And to keep rolling, how many Jupiters could fit inside of the sun? Almost 1,000. 987 to be a little more specific. Okay, okay, one last one, Mars. The red planet, we like that one, right? Well, it's a little bit smaller than Earth. You could fit six Marses inside of Earth. Always be curious. <laughs>